back it's melanie or shisha at scrapper so today i am back with a two page layout kind of cheating today i am using the simple pages page kit um the back to school so the school life collection uh, but i am using it and kind of changing it up just a little bit what i love about these though is if you look at that base page that is actually just one piece of paper it looks like there's multiple pattern papers taped together when in fact it's just one piece so that's kind of why this layout comes together so quickly however I like the fact that you could take that base design and create it yourself really easily so you have that busy pattern paper you have the green which is bordered in orange and then you have another pattern paper that looks like it's under that green um, and then I mean, it would just be a really easy base design to create yourself with whatever collection you wanted to. So now what I'm doing is just following the instructions from this, the page kit. If you've never um, used one of these, it's a great kind of introduction to that as well. So it's supposed to be no cut um, is the idea. So they have kind of um, die cuts that you punch out and then they have chipboard pieces. So you need the tape, but you really don't need the uh, scissors or even the paper cutter. I obviously used it just now because I wanted to trim my photos down and then I'm also going to use it a second time because I wanted to map my photos. Um, that is one thing that they don't give you is I guess because they don't want you to have to tape anything, but they are not tape cut, sorry, but they don't give you like the photo mats. Um, that would be nice. I guess the back, the second page kit in this collection, um, ha it has frames. And so that is a little bit different. It kind of does give you that matte look, um, without ha actually having to cut. So I just followed the instructions for page one, I'm gonna do the same thing for page two. And one thing I realized while creating this layout as well is that there are gonna be a lot of pieces left over. Um, I've actually gone ahead and done off camera the second page kit already. Um, and I don't know how many chipboard stars, but I have almost the whole sheet left of chipboard stars. Um, so that is kind of a nice thing too. I do have a lot of this collection in my stash anyways. So now I'm just gonna have to add that to um, that stash and just have extra, you know, pieces, which is really nice. So the way that I'm changing this up is this photo is actually supposed to be a four by six photo. I didn't need all of the garage door in that photo. So I actually trimmed it down to four by four, which is going to work for me because I also don't have two circular photos like they want me to have. Um, so this is actually supposed to have two additional photos, I believe, a circular one on page one and then a circular one on page two. But because I cut my photo down to four by four, it actually allows me the room to move my title down to, to the side of my photo, if that makes sense. So this is the sheet of kind of cut aparts that you just kind of punch out. Um, and so I am just going to punch out what... I see they use on this layout. For the most part, I stuck with what they used. I did end up adding an, a few additional pieces um, because I thought that it wasn't used on the other page kit, when in fact, one of the little pieces was, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, there was enough extra that I was able to make my own embellishment cluster. So that's the chipboard sheet right here. So almost all of those stars are left over after completing both of the page kits. So it's really nice. You know, you don't have any papers left over, uh, but embellishments like those stars, you can definitely use on any other layout. Um, so this is not my first page kit um, that I've used, the Simple Stories, Simple Pages, uh, but I think I, this hit one is one that has the most left over, um, which I'm actually really excited about. <laughs> you really get your money's worth. I did end up getting this one at Tuesday morning before they um, 
they close their doors but i believe they have these for their newer collections as well and i know that they also have the simple um like the card making so you get enough to make cards so you can see i put that banner and i was like oh my goodness that is not how it needs to be um i had tried to place it kind of upside down and obviously did not uh place it properly so now that I kind of moved my title to the side instead of having it on top of that photo on page two, I kind of had to figure out where to add the journaling spot. So it's a circular one and I thought, you know, I would maybe see how it looked at the top left of page one because they had a circular photo that was supposed to be there, but I didn't like that. Instead, I decided to add it down to the bottom of page two. Um, kind of tucked under that title a little bit. Uh, and then I still kind of kept that cluster the same as they had on the instruction sheet. Um, I'm trying to look at what else I have left over on this. Um, there's a whole, um, a whole learn is spelled out in circles. That is left over. A couple of phrase stickers I have left over. So just quite a bit. Um, Oh, this embellishment cluster here, I actually added myself. So the I Love School, that heart is supposed to be on the other page. Not a big deal. Like I said, I was able to create my own embellishment cluster over there. Uh, but I just felt like because I didn't have the title at the top of the page, I needed a cluster up there. Um, and so I pieced together some icons and then that heart, all of which the icons at least are were extras and I just added them. These hearts I believe were extras too and I decided to kind of keep with that heart theme and add some in um, the rest of the clusters and so I added one under that school spirit, added one to the title and then I believe I'm going to add one over to the cluster on page one with that giant backpack. Another thing I like about these, sometimes they have larger icons, which is kind of nice to fill in the spaces. I struggle sometimes when all of the embellishments are so small. Um, but with this, you know, that backpack and the lunchbox and that composition notebook, those are good sizes and help fill in a space really nicely. So I will see if I can find any of the simple stories, simple pages on a cherry on top or scrapbook.com and link them down below in case you're interested in seeing what is available. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.